hello everyone in this video i'll teach about functions in java so what are functions so let me give an example let's say you are using your washing machine every day so before using you are going to set the time okay the amount of water okay you are setting that it has to wash you know, rinse and dry you are telling it that it has to wash it in 60 degrees of water so let's say you are setting few more parameters so you are doing this every day okay every day you are going to uh, set time water the settings temperature and these parameters every day before starting the washing machine so it will be kind of boring right you will be irritated to do all these things on a daily basis so what if i say i will take all these things and I'll call it a function and by a click of one button this function will be activated and all these settings will be you know applied and then your machine starts so it is quite easy right so this is what a function will do okay a function will have some set of things to do and whenever you call this function all the things inside the function will get executed so let's say we have a function for you know sum of two numbers okay so whenever you call this function this function is going to add these two number and give it back to you let's say you have a function to uh, find the power of any two numbers okay so let's say you want to find 2 power 15 so if you call this function and you tell him this function that it has to find the power for 2 raised to power 15 this function is going to execute this and then it will give a answer in return so it is quite easy right so that is where you are going to use functions so now let's see the syntax of functions in java so in java this is how you write a function first let me write public so about this i will tell you in the future videos but for now you can just remember to put public so this is void this i will explain in the in the same video and then there is a name for this function so let's say this function is going to find the sum of the numbers okay so i call this function as sum opening and small uh, opening and closing brackets opening and closing parentheses okay so this is a function called sum so inside this let's say i will declare two numbers a and a as 5 and b as 15 and then i'm going to add so i'll have one more variable i'll call it s equal to a plus b and then i'm going to print okay system.out.println i'm going to print s so whenever you call this function from your program let's say this is your main okay in this main uh, you just call this function how you call this function is you simply write the name of the function and then closing and opening brackets and then a semicolon so this is a function call and this is going to give the controller this part of the code and now this function will be executed it is going to uh, create two variables add it and print it and then the control will come back to the next line of the program okay so this is how a function works so in this function there are some more things which we have to see like this thing so it says void right so instead of void what is this void this void basically tells what this function is going to return okay so here i have mentioned void so this function is not going to return anything back to the function call okay let me explain it again here i have mentioned void so this function here we are calling this function so this function call is there the control come here this entire function will run after that this is not going to give anything back in return that is what the void means so let's say instead of void if i write int 
if i say int it means that this function after executing should return a integer value to the line from where it is called okay so now let me give an example for this return type int so don't worry about this public so this is the return type previously i had written void over here now i'm going to write int and the function's name was sum opening closing brackets opening closing parentheses okay so here i'm going to again declare two variables now i'm going to add these two variables inside a variable called s a plus b now since i have mentioned that this program is going to return a value and this return value is of type integer okay it is of type int and also see we have s which is of integer type i have created it int purposefully so that i can return it to the function call okay so i'm going to say return this is the keyword i'm going to say i'm going to say return s okay so from this program so whenever i call this function it is going to add two values and give this sum as a return okay just for example let's say you do not know how to add two numbers you call your father you tell your dad i need the sum of these two numbers and then your dad is going to return this answer to you so that is what is happening over here so let's see what where the function call is so here i say sum okay so here is the function call so from here the call is going to this function this function is returning s so where are we receiving this s okay we need to keep that also in mind from here we are calling and this function is giving us s back right where are we going to put it so since it is returning a integer okay so i'll create a variable call addition or let's say add and this add i'm going to store the value which this function is going to return okay so this function is called this function is executed this function is returning a value that is the sum of these two numbers and this value i'm going to store it in add now i'll say system dot print okay system dot out dot print ln and if i say add this add will print 5 plus 10 is 15 okay let's dive a little deeper and let me explain what are parameters so let's see what is parameter parameter is nothing but the values which you are going to give to the function to cert to do certain action so let me repeat parameters are nothing but when you call some function you are going to give some values to the function using that values this work function will do some action and then return a value if there is a return type okay so it's like you're ca calling your father and you're telling your dad that i need to find sum of these two numbers it's like you are giving your father these two numbers and expecting a answer so how to give these two values so inside these brackets if i tell 5 and 10 okay in that case we would not need this so while function call you are telling or you are sending these two values to the function so you are sending these two values how will this function receive these two values so again inside this brackets i will say int a comma int b okay so now so now this 5 will be stored in this variable this 10 will be stored in b so the order in which you send is the order in which it will receive so now you are given two values and these two values are received over here and using this value we are going to find the sum and we are going to return it and this returned value will be stored in add and this we are going to print it so let's say you do not want these two numbers let's say you want to send some other number you can tell you can send any numbers for example 
so this kind of changes you can easily do when you have parameters now you send six and thousand so a will be six b will be thousand and these two will be added and it will be thousand six it will be sent over here it will be stored in add and we are going to print it in this case it will be thousand six so if you learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing my channel thank you